happening back in the peloton and we can see you know the time is coming down but you know he's going to have to ride now and Paddy Panther is just going to sit on the wheel here but yeah will he be good enough to hold on to him he looks like he's also digging deep here to stay in the wheel of Legnanson and Andreas Legnanson looking to become the first Norwegian for 42 years to lead the Giro only the second ever it's been 14 years since his nation won a stage, and there's a gap, there's distance now. He'll be riding for his life. Andreas Lechnerson with a bit between his teeth. He can see a stage win up ahead. Yeah, but Xavier's fighting. 17 seconds behind. I look behind and he surveys the damage. He's almost over the top here. Barret Patre's not out of it yet, though. Well, it depends on how Paddy Panther's feeling. Sometimes the riders, they just, you know, knock it back a little bit because it's uh, just too much of a strong pace for them and right to your power. And uh, if he's doing that, he could come back here. And we can see Legnason, he's, you know, on a big gear here and, uh, you know, really putting a big effort in. Will he be able to keep that going? Depend on what you have left in the tank. Well, for the Maglia Rosa, it's less than 50 seconds now. For the Maglia Rosa group gaining into the final kilometre of the climb. And that's the gap between the top two. This is Laris de Plus opening the legs for the first time in this Giro. He has Theo Gegenhardt on his wheel. Geraint Thomas, Pavel Sivakov and Tierman Arendsman are behind. You can see Jay Vine in the white on the right-hand side, just behind Primoz Roglic. Brandon McNulty's at the back of this group. My, did he get through some energy earlier on. So did Eina Rubio, who's here. And there's Matthew Ritchie Tello. Thibaut Pino up in the Maglia Zura for now. Eight seconds between the top two here. Bache Peintre is trying to use his experience and he is coming back. Of course, he's been around a little longer, hasn't he, than Lechnerson? And you could see that effort face from the young Norwegian before. Like you said, he was pedalling a huge gear there. Yes, he was, uh, you know, turning a very big gear and. Yeah, on a climb like that, after what they've been through all day, uh, you need a lot of power to be able to keep that one going. So, looking like that, Parry Panther looks more smoother. He's turning the gear a higher cadence, a bit better. But that doesn't say that he's also digging deep here now. And yeah, two back together here as we go through three, just 3.2 to go. Is it going to be between these two for the stage win? It looking uh, very much so. Leclerc and front Parry Panther. Looking controlled, well, that little bit more controlled there. Enios Grenadiers controlling the group behind at 2 minutes 29. That's Pavel Sivakov starting to go backwards. And now this is Bache Peintre coming up to the King of the Mountains point. That's the first arch you'll see here, and after that they'll go through three kilometres to go. Remember, they've all picked up points in the last couple of climbs. Thibaut Pino at the moment having the jersey ahead of Emmanuel Gebrexabier. I we'll have to see how the points shake up. There are 18 points available here. And they're going to go to Aurélien Paris-Pain. Now, three Ks to go over the top. It is a dive down before a flat couple of kilometres to the finish. Two young riders two quality bike riders in terms of the time it's tight for them to take the Maglia Rosa 2.33 well, the Ineos Grenadier is going to push on and make it that little bit harder for Remco Evenepoel make sure that despite the effort of trying to give it away maybe today that he keeps it and they have to keep riding that's Gebrek Zabia being passed and this now is Bachir Pantra tightening up the shoes for a possible sprint to the line. On a nice sunny day, this would be beautiful to look at. In the end, it's cold, it's wet, it's miserable in southern Italy today. And Lechnerson is being challenged by Bachir Pantra as to why he's not contributing. Yes, you want the jersey, don't you? 2.1 kilometres to go. He might still have the jersey, whether he wins the stage or not. Remember, 1 minute 37 behind the Maglia Rosa. Of course, I think it's going to be a case of these two crossing the line, and then we'll be counting back to the main group. There's the lake in the background. Here we go, here's the moment again.
It's Pache Pantra once more. Elbow. Oh, and again they play games. They know that they're coming back behind as well. They will have to ride both of them at some point. Yes, and I think uh, Pari Pantri know that uh, Legnason, you know, wants to keep going at a strong pace and uh, keep as much advantage. And hopefully, they'll be able to, you know, finish with enough an advantage that he can take the uh, pink jersey. So he's using that, and uh, you know, you can see there the way he's uh, pushing Legnason to the front and making them ride a bit. But he's also doing his bit. But he knows he has to do it as well because. You must remember behind they're coming up as well, so it's in both interests that they ride together. It's Aurélien Paré Peintre from France in the white with the brown shorts. It's the man from the Arctic Circle, Andreas Lechnesund in the black for DSM. It's been a real difficult few weeks off the bike for Andreas Lechnesund. He is a mightily gifted rider, and he's going to come up now to a kilometre to go. There we are, last kilometre. Graphic in the top left-hand side of your screen is just out. 1,000 metres to the line at Lago La Ceno, and we're looking back, and I can't yet see anybody in the shot, Sean. It's going to be between these two. Yes, well, they're in the clear now. A kilometre to go, and you can see a big advantage uh, for them. And uh, Paris Panther is going to just sit on the wheel here and uh, make uh, Legnason lead all the way to the finish and lead out the sprint. Legnason... If they have a big enough gap out of these two, we'll take the Magliarosa. There's enough of a gap between them, but that will depend on the peloton behind. It's been a full gas day. 80 kilometres since a breakaway was able to form after kilometre zero. So much chaos and confusion. An unpredictable afternoon at the Cino d'Italia. And after four and a quarter hours of some of the most exciting racing you will see, it's Andreas Lechnesund, the 23-year-old from Norway, who's there at the front. You know, he shares a birthday with Mark Cavendish. Canny Channel is in a Cavendish to sprint to the line here. But Paris Patras on his wheel. He's ready to go. There are 200 metres to go. And it is Aurélien Paris Patras on the left-hand side. A Grand Tour stage win is up for grabs. Paris Patras came in search of it. And it will go to the Frenchman. Aurélien Paris Patras joins the Grand Tour stage winners club. It's a second place for Andreas Lechnesund that could yet result in him pulling on the famed Malia Rosa. Victory on the day to Azure de Zer Citroën. And the biggest moment in the career of Aurélien Paris-Peintre. Beautifully brought home.